I am Dr. Sarala, Department of Mathematics. I am explain now that is hanging strings. So the first one uh, we have to show the shape of the uniform string hanging under gravity is a catenary. So this is the figure. Now uh, here uh, A and B these are the points these are not lying in, in the same vertical lines. These are the end points. A and B be the end points of the string. The next one, uh, here uh, C, C is the lowest point of the string and Q be the uh, point uh, which is um, the weight which is down, down, vertically downwards from the point Q. The next T naught and T, these are the tangents, these are the tangents and then psi is the uh, angle between these tangents and P be the point, any point which is lying in the string. The next C, the distance between C and P. The distance between C and P is yes. So C, P which is equal to yes. That is A and B. A and B is not lying in the same vertical line. This is the end point of the strings. Next, SW is the weight which is lying vertically downwards from the point Q. So now the applied forces which are um, acting in the um, um, strings CP portion, um, what are they? Now we will see what are they. they there are uh, three uh, forces acting at the point. The first one is the applied force, it is in equilibrium position because um, there are three forces acting on the, there that is the distance, the tension T at a point P along the tangent, the tension T at a point P along the tangent. This is the first one force. The second force is the tension T naught at a point C along the tangent. So these are the two forces. The third one that is the weight SW acting at a point which is uh, through the point Q. SW is the weight which is acting vertically downwards from the point Q. So these are the three forces. First one T is the tangent. The second one which is acting at a point P. The second one T naught. Uh, these are, this is also the tangent which is acting at a point C. The third one forces um, weight SW which is vertically downwards from the yes, uh, point Q. These are the three forces. The three forces is acting at a point. This is, it is an equilibrium position. So now we will be uh, find out uh, what are the applied forces. The applied forces uh, here the applied force is in equilibrium position. So we will calculate here that is T cos psi minus T naught which is equal to 0. T cos psi minus T naught equal to 0. From this we will be find out T cos psi which is equal to T naught. The next one this is the horizontal displacement. The next vertical displacement you will find out that is T sin psi minus SW which is equal to 0. So from this figure we will be find out this that is T sin psi which is equal to SW. From this, this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So 1 divided by 2 we get the result that is T cos psi that is T sin psi minus sorry 2 W uh, 2 divided by 1 that is T sin psi. T sin psi divided by T cos psi which is equal to SW minus T naught. So here T T is cancelled. The remaining is 
tan psi which is equal to SW by T naught. So, here um, now uh, C is a point and then uh, we will be convert this becomes um, T naught which is equal to T naught which is equal to CW. So, here it becomes SW divided by CW. WW is cancelled here. So, the remaining term is S which is equal to C tan psi. So, S which is equal to tan psi is nothing but the intrinsic equation of the catenary. So, this is the final result. S which is equal to C tan psi. So, the shape of the uniform string hanging under the catenary is a catenary. So, from this we will find out this. The next one the equation will be uh, find out the equation of the curve formed by the string in the parametric form as S which is equal to C log tan psi plus sorry secant psi plus tan psi. The next one y which is equal to C secant psi and the Cartesian form as this is also we will obtain here find out here y which is equal to c cos h x by c. So, the same figure just a simple change that is y x x axis x is y axis x and y are perpendicular and then c is the lowest point and the distance between the original point o and c is small c and then uh, p be a point t is a tangent P be a point, P having the coordinate x and y in the tangent point with the psi is an angle between the tangents. This is the figure explanation. So, here the parametric equation of the str uh, string uh, already uh, we will know this. This is the formula for in calculus that is dx by ds which is equal to cos psi and then curvature. Uh, radius of curvature we will find out this dx by ds which is equal to cos psi and then dy by dx which is equal to sin psi. From this we will take that is dx by ds which is equal to cos psi we will take and then ds now uh, you will divide and multiply it by d psi ds by d psi into d psi by ds which is equal to cos psi. Now, now uh, dx by d psi here it d psi uh, which is equal to cos psi here and uh, this can be taken as a right hand side ds by it can be turn and become reciprocal t ds divided by d psi. So, dx by d psi which is equal to cos psi into dx by d, d psi. The next uh, dx by D, d psi. So, S which is equal to here we will be find out S which is equal to C tan psi. This is the intrinsic equation. Now, we will be differentiate this. We get the result that becomes S can be D, uh, S is t, t tan psi. So, you will be substitute the value that becomes T tan psi. So, it becomes uh, differentiate here we will be find out C secant square psi. So, cos psi into C secant square psi. So, now we will be integrate on both side we get the result dx which is equal to C into integration of secant. So, it can be written as 1 by secant square psi is nothing but 1 by cos square psi. So, uh, it can be reduced that becomes 1 by cos psi. So, it, it is nothing but secant psi. So, secant psi into d psi. So, again integrate on this we will get the result x which is equal to c log secant psi plus tan psi plus a. So, now when x psi equal to 0 is e equal to 0 and then x also equal to 0 we get the result a equal to 0. So, at the origin, uh, origin point. So, we get the result here at the final point. Uh, result is x which is equal to c into log of secant psi plus tan psi. The next part is dy by ds. This dy by dx which is equal to 
sin psi. So, again the same uh, will be multiplied and divide by d psi dy by d psi into d psi by ds which is equal to sin psi. So, <coughs> dy by d psi which is equal to sin psi into so this can be taken and become right hand side that is d s yes by d psi again s yes, which is equal to c tan psi again I uh, will be taking this, you will be putting this and differentiate with respect to psi, we get the result that becomes sin psi into c secant square psi. So, that is you will be integrate here that is dy which is equal to integration of sin psi into c into 1 by this can be written as secant square is nothing but 1 by tan square. So, here c in c is taken outside here this uh, this becomes secant square x. <coughs> so, you will be integrate on these two we get the result y which is equal to c t secant psi plus b. So, b is a constant one. So, when a y equal to 0 c equal to 0 and psi which is equal to 0 we get b equal to 0. So, the final point that becomes y equal to c secant psi that is the final one. So, this is the parametric form that is x which is equal to c log of secant psi plus tan psi. The next one y which is equal to c secant psi. It is a parametric form. Now, we will be find out the um, Cartesian product uh, form that is y which is equal to c cos h x by c. So, here the parametric now we will take the parametric form. The parametric form of x which is equal to c log of secant psi plus tan psi. So, here uh, now x by c which is equal to log of uh, secant psi plus tan psi. Now, we will take the exponential on both sides e power x by c which is equal to e log is cancelled that becomes secant psi plus tan psi. The next is uh, e power minus x the reciprocal will take e power x by c. This is nothing but e uh, sin by 1 by secant psi plus tan psi. Now, uh, secant psi minus tan square psi is multiplied and divided, we get the result secant psi minus tan psi divided by secant psi plus tan psi into secant psi minus tan psi. This is nothing but secant psi minus tan psi divided by secant square psi minus tan square psi. So, this is nothing but this the value of secant square psi minus tan square psi is 1. So, the result is the result is psi minus tan psi that is the result. So, e power x by c which is equal to tan secant psi plus tan psi e power x minus c which is equal to secant psi minus tan psi. This is equation 1, this is equation 2. So, now e power x by c equal to secant psi plus tan psi. e power x minus c is we will find out that is secant psi minus tan psi. So, now we will be adding these two equations, we get the result is e power x by c plus e power minus x by x, x by c equal to secant psi plus tan psi plus secant psi minus tan psi. So, these two are cancelled and we get the result 2 into secant psi. So, from this we will find out e power x by c, x by c minus e power sorry plus e power minus x by c divided by 2 equal to secant psi. 
already we know that is y which is equal to c secant psi. This is one of the result y which is equal to c secant psi. This is the parametric form of the equation. So, now we will find out, uh, we will be using this result y which is equal to c secant psi here that is y by c, this is nothing but y by c. So, from this we will find out y which is equal to c into e power x by c plus e power minus x by c divided by 2. This is nothing but c which is equal to cosecant h of x by c. From the formula you will find out this result. So, y which is equal to c cos h x by c. This is the Cartesian form of y which is uh, Cartesian form of the given curve that is y which is equal to c cos h x by c. So, now we will find out this that is the equation of the curve formed by the string in the parametric form x equal to c log of secant psi plus tan psi and y which is equal to c secant psi and also derived the Cartesian form y which is equal to c cos h x by c. Thank you.